Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and welcome to another Virus Investigations. Tonight's gonna be a little chill night of a little, it's gonna be a rabbit hole investigation to go with. Now, today's title might pique you, might pique a little interest. Is China hacking you? Well, that depends on, a, on, on, on some situations. Now, the following video is just an investigation. By no means am I making any claims, I'm just giving you what good old Papa Muna must have found. And that's about it. Now, if you're a big fan of Battle Royale games, chances are you may, actually, chances are probably slim, you might have heard of a game called Rings of Elysium. Now, every Battle Royale game has their thing, you know, Fortnite has its Minecraft 2 gimmick, uh, PUBG has its uh, Let's Not Develop the Game gimmick, and Blackout's the only decent one that is coming out, and man, do I, I, I cannot actually wait to play that game. I did not ever conceive myself saying I wanted to play Battle Royale, but little do we know, Muda can be swayed. Now this one has its uh, own thing. You basically pick a point to spawn in, a la COD Online, and uh, you get to pick, I guess, a class where you can snowboard, or you can glide, or climb rocks, and you spawn in with a gun, or, and that's really all about there is to it. It plays pretty much like, what am I even telling you about this anyways? I actually played the game, and I think I'm gonna give you a quick little demonstration of the game before we continue on so you know what we're getting into. All right, so first things first, before I can actually truly judge such, an, uh, such a title, I have to actually play it. So this is Ring of Elysium. It's running on my computer right here uh, through a virtual machine of course no less now in this situation the game starts off as normal i've done nothing but actually start i increase some graphical settings that's about it but uh these games start off with basically a character creating tool so you can pick male uh female you can import ooh. ooh ooh i think i think we already hit the i think we're already breaking the simulation huh buddy cancel that so you get to pick characters for some reason they have emotional faces so i, I don't know if that helps you I just just pick some random shit and hit complete and now you get to decide your name. So I'm going to get through a lot of the intro stuff. We're going to get into our first game, see what this is kind of like. Just just play a match or something just to get the full vibe going. Just give me a second. So here we are. We're checked in. We've got that same daily... It's, it's a free-to-play game. So it's got credit systems, all that stuff going for it. Uh, it's got statistics, leaderboards, appearances, uh, vaults, whatever that is, <laughs> rewards, and challenges. So, of course, you've got bots and PvP. So I'm going to hit... Uh, oh, that has North America and Asia servers. So if you, if you want to connect to those servers, you absolutely can and the music is just going super loud my god all right so you just straight pick your starting point my god you just straight pick your own point to start off i guess we'll start at Sigel. oh it's unavailable i guess we'll start off with the team i guess that is my teammate right over there so i've got Moomchi, z992 and showy all right, I can definitely feel that the North American server is infested with many, many Chinese players, but you can see that I think the blue dots indicate somebody else is in the game with me. I'm not sure, but this reminds me a lot of, um, uh, what is it, Call of Duty uh, Online Coddle Battle Royale, where you just straight picked where you want it to spawn, right? Now over here, I guess I get to pick extra items like uh, the gliding pack, the skiing pack. And the ice axe? I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean, sure, I guess we'll go with, you know, I'll just stick with the basic what I know. Hang gliding sounds a little more fun. That's, every Battle Royale game sort of has to have its gimmick. And I guess this is the gimmick for ROE, right? There's about 56 players in this Royale. Okay, that's like half the amount you would see on like PUBG, right? But, um, I mean, <laughs> it looks pretty similar to other games in the market. I mean, just swap that, uh, that winter aesthetic, right? So here we got some M guns i guess vector 45 acp uh switch to that pretty hardcore i don't know if i can switch perspectives i think it's either you do one or the other right but honestly i'd rather play with third person for that extra peripheral vision anyways and uh, hopefully we'll be figuring out something real quick so let's actually get to the action i mean i don't i don't want i don't want you guys to sit here and waste your time looking at me like scrounge for weapons so let's see if we can get a kill off real fast Oh god, I got a hit marker on some guy? Shit, 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 damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Fuck! Been taken out. God damn it. God damn I got the that was that was totally my screw up right there. That was entirely my screw up. My lord. Uh oh, he's running for me. Shoei could have done something. God damn. Okay, there was like no way I'm gonna play this game and not get one kill. That's just this I'm not doing that. I don't I don't leave this piece of crap on a f you just don't. 
There's there's no way I'm not going to finish. There's no way I'm going to leave this game and not get a win or something or at least try to at least give it give it my all. I don't I don't know what it is, but anytime I play a single any any game and I and I don't get that win, it's going to happen, dude. It's going to happen. So what is this switch scope two times? All right. So it's got a pretty intuitive dude, honestly, I'm going to be honest. It feels like an Android game. Like straight up feels like some Android iOS game that got ported to PC. Oh, one target right there. Come on, dude. What is that grandma hit detection? All right, maybe I can sneak in from here, right? I can pull that off. All right, it plays literally like PUBG, mobile PUBG, which isn't to say bad. Somebody should be up here. Come on, you bastard. He's gonna fucking peek me, isn't he? I, it, does, it doesn't help the fact that they have a gun in this. Oh, I switched out. Don't switch out your guns. <laughs> Where is he? Oh, there it is. There it is. There's somebody. God damn, my aim is terrible. Potatoing this shit. There we go. Knockdown. Perfect. God. That's all I needed was one kill. One fucking kill. Let me just make sure that's a confirmed kill right there. <laughs> oh my god. Don't get into this, Muda. Don't, don't get into this. Where the fuck are you shooting at? What the hell? Where's the engagement, man? It's like shots everywhere. I'm like barely... Okay, I gotta get higher ground. Uh, no, nobody there. Okay, higher ground, higher ground. Get higher ground. Oh, inside that house. Okay, that makes sense. Fuck. Oh, God. Oh. Can't wait to uninstall this one, can I? Mm. So yeah, I went on uh, Steam, I, I, I found this game and I hit download, it's about six gigs in size, so uh, yeah, it wasn't too terribly huge, but I don't think many Battle Royale games usually are. Now, at this point, the actual investigation begins. Now that we've played the game, and I made sure in order for me to test, I was going to play a game at least. I had to play a game of it, uh, multiple games, I guess. I had to get myself into it just so that it wasn't me logging into a main menu, getting through it that way, and not getting, I guess the somewhat conclusive truth, at least in this experience. Now, at this point, once we had gotten all the information, and by getting all the information, as I was playing the game, I was running a network uh, assessment tool, a network scan tool, uh, whatever you want to call it. These tools exist in many forms, and a lot of people use them to check how much data their computer is using up, what certain programs connect to, and, uh, well, just general network security guidelines. If you want to see how a program behaves in a network fashion, you can use many of these programs to get an accurate idea of how things communicate. It's actually quite interesting even if you're not trying to figure out what a certain bit of malware does. You can actually get a fairly good idea of how things like cloud computing works or uh, cl cloud processing, how the cloud is, how, how you connect to it. So in this situation, knowing that Tencent is a huge company, and Tencent is the reason why this game exists in the way that it does, Tencent owns pretty much everything. For, in order to get this virus, you have to understand how Chinese multinationals work. Tencent, which is one of China's biggest tech companies, is one of the world's biggest tech companies. And when you're a big, massive company in China, you're, you're sometimes in bed with the government, and that sometimes kind of inches towards most of the times. Uh, comparatively, if you look at American companies like Apple, which uh, have a presence in China for sure, they will reluctantly follow Chinese guidelines. They'll be very vocal about saying why they don't support the Chinese, a sort of oppressive view on uh, freedoms in the online world. There are times where Tencent definitely falls into rules with China. Doesn't mean that working with the Chinese government helps them a lot. Uh, considering China's recent crackdown on certain video games and addictions itself, it's not helping Tencent in that department. Department. But again, Tencent's a big company. They don't give a fuck if you buy a skin on Fortnite. They don't care. They make money in like AI and shit, okay? They, don't, they, they, they could give less of a shit if you downloaded PUBG. That's like small potatoes for these people. So looking into this, you have to assess that being Tencent and their size, they're going to be sided with the Chinese government. And being the second biggest economy in the world, it's without a doubt that there's some shady practices, at least in the digital sphere. Now, the actual claim that people made without really any proof was that they said Tencent was stealing user data by 
key logging. And if you take a look back to our episode about key logging, it's not that complicated of a step to do. All they're really doing is taking your keystrokes, sending them off to a Chinese farm, and storing it for some form of group surveillance within Chinese uh, local uh, spheres. And could it exist? Could it happen? Absolutely. It absolutely could. It could happen with any program, so to speak. Uh, you have to look at it like this. Uh, Russia is doing the same thing to the United States and China. China is doing it to its two competitors, and the United States is definitely key logging as much as it can in China and Russia. It's just how the fucking world works now, okay? We, li we live in the deus ex realm. That's how it's going to go down, people. But I decided to look into it. So back into before we went into the tangent, Using network programs, you can tell exactly what things connect to. And for me, I was able to open up Windows' Resource Manager, which has a pretty solid built-in network assessment tool, amongst other tools, and I found out that there were two IPs that I was connecting to. Now, what was interestingly enough is that when I was looking through both of these IPs, one of the IPs' latency was abnormally larger than usual. And this can mean one thing immediately right off the bat, is that I'm not connected to any US data center. I'm most likely connected to an Asian data center because that latency makes sense. For those of you who don't know what latency is, I'll just sum it up real quick. You know when you're playing an online game and your start, character starts to glitch out a little and have spasms? That's latency. So basically when you're lagging, it's when your in-game character is having a bit of a fit. So I noticed my latency was higher and with the other IP I looked at, the latency was normal, like 40-ish. That was because I was connected directly to Tencent servers. Obviously, being a Tencent game, it's going to run on their cloud network. And one of the IPs was directly connected to China, which was their uh, district in Shenzhen, which was Nanshan? Nanshan district in Shenzhen. Shenzhen is the headquarter location of Tencent. So for me to connect to their offices made sense. I was using one of their products. It doesn't necessarily mean that they're spying on me. Obviously, if you download their tool set, they are going to be, you're going to be connected to them in some way, shape, or form. It's like buying a European game. US, Asian players are going to be connected there anyways, and vice versa for North American games. Looking further into the second IP with less of, uh, with, with less of, I guess you could say, a, um, a latency problem was a Beijing server. And I'm pretty sure this is Tencent's global farms, their global cloud farm, which uh, basically amounts to everything else in the world. It's just to really connect everything together. Google has it, Apple has it, Microsoft has it, Facebook has it, and of course, Tencent has it. A lot of the big tech companies have their big massive cloud centers, and this is no big surprise. So now that we know that we're connected to them, how much can you trust them? Well, it's like trusting Google, really. Do you trust uh, Google? Do you trust Apple? Do you trust Facebook? Well, if you trust all those three, chances are, I guess, if you're willing to trust Tencent and the corroboration with the Chinese government, then it's all down to you. It's up to you, buddy. But um, a lot of the people that have been digging out the virus usage, such such cases as Tencent basically uh, encrypting itself or scanning certain files on your computer, a lot of that can be allocated to cheat uh, anti-cheat software. And basically every big game does this as well. If you look at Rainbow Six Siege, uh, if you look at uh, Counter-Strike, a lot of the companies themselves do come with uh, anti-protect software, cheat engine software, so they can detect if you're running games in like a VM or you're running some unauthorized program on the side, and generally encrypt themselves so that they can't be breached in as easily as some would think. So a lot of the things that have been mentioned over here don't really tie in to Tencent hacking your computers. I'm going to go out on a limb and say you're probably not getting hacked. I don't think Tencent would do that necessarily. But again, Something like this is what a lot of people are blowing up so out of proportion. Do I think that the government is hacking us? Absolutely not in this situation, for me at least. But even when I say absolutely not, there's always like 10% of a chance that they usually are. And being Tencent and being so in bed with the government of China, it's up to you to think if you're important enough to be key locked to death. Do you think there mass surveillance? Do, do you think there's mass surveillance of U.S. targets? Maybe, but I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this is just some regular battle royale game. That's it. It's just one game that Tencent made, and even though they've admitted that it's an issue, they're working on it, they're fixing it. The world is an interesting place, and it could be one or two things. But I'm gonna go with the. Uh, they're probably not doing it seal of approval, so you can play your battle royale game right here, uh, it's totally free to play. It's not as bad as I guess one would think. I mean, you know, for a battle royale game. But that being said, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Just like it if you dislike it. I played a game, I assessed a game, and I gave you my results on the game.
So is the Chinese government hacking you? We'll find out once somebody actually has their credit card stolen. This is me, Mudahar, and I am out.